camera, the video, a rare look inside the third largest state prison system in the country. Florida Department of Corrections, Hamilton Correctional Institution, lost two more officers today. They were fired and they're facing criminal charges. Why? Why do you do this to yourselves? An inmate had a smuggled cell phone. Oh, have we heard this scenario before? Oh yeah, we've heard it a lot across the country. Videotaped two officers in an inmate's cell and on the video, as you saw here at the beginning of this video, slapped him. One officer, I'll use the word allegedly even though I saw it, slapped the inmate twice. Now, we're going to hear some people say, but the inmate is a criminal and he should not have had a cell phone. That is illegal to have that cell phone. We know that. We knew that in 2018. We knew that in 2019 when things happened across Florida where inmates videotaped officers doing things they should not be doing. They got fired, they got criminally charged, and they had to go to court. Does that make it right because the inmate was wrong? Does two wrongs make a right? Come on, people. When people use that as an excuse for the crime they committed, it, I'm embarrassed for these folks because, look, we are officers. We, have, we took an oath to uphold the law. Another thing that has to be investigated is why did they slap the inmate? Now, did the inmate have a weapon in his hand? I doubt it because they would have taken him down. They wouldn't have just slapped him. Because if an inmate had a weapon, they would have taken him down. Uh, I don't know of any reports that were written, and I doubt they were. I doubt the officers wrote anything up on this incident. Well, this inmate takes this smuggled cell phone that, yes, he should be charged for, for introduction of contraband. Um... Uh, and sends the video to a friend on the outside of prison, and they send it to, of course, the news media. Hey, newsflash. Same old story, right? Getting yourself in trouble in a very bad way. Number one, assaulting an inmate. Number two, losing your job. Number three, being criminally charged and facing all this uh, embarrassment for yourself, your family, and the agency. Please wake up. Do you think in this day and time, even in jail or prison, you're not being watched or recorded? Wake up, America. You're not supposed to be doing what you did anyway, and you did it, and don't blame management. Here's another one that they use lots of times when they mess up their career. Now look, I'm a retired officer, I'm 100% law enforcement. I don't like criminals, but I'm not going to abuse a criminal, and I'm going to try to represent the badge in the best way I possibly can to not taint the image of being a correctional officer. And here we go again. You got this lady in Tampa, the Democratic uh, Diane Hart or whatever her name is, she eats this stuff up, man. She, she waits for this stuff to happen. She's tearing you up a new one on the TV now. And what are we going to do? The Department of Corrections has her hands tied. They're saying, we are aware of this video. We are taking action immediately. Investigation is underway. No further comments at this time. What, are they, what else are they supposed to do? They're going to fire the officers, which they already did, from what I understand. They're going to be criminally charged. They're going to be arrested, folks, and booked in. One day you're coming to work, everything's fine, and you do something like this. Now, there's an allegation out there that there's a power, power slap game that goes on. I don't know if it does up in that uh, Hamilton Correctional Institution, but if there's a power slap game going on and other officers in Hamilton are doing it, you better quit. Your career is not worth a stupid game, a tough guy mentality. 
No, we're officers. We're going to go there to do our job. I, 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 don't, I didn't wake up in the morning saying, I'm going to beat me an inmate today. And I made it 28.8 years. My wife made it 35 years. I asked her, did you ever wake up in the morning? You know, we saw this on the news. Did you ever wake up in the morning and say, I just want to go slap an inmate today? No. Have a job to do. Do it right. An inmate attacks you? By all means, defend yourself. Nobody's telling you not to defend yourself. An inmate comes at you to uh, give you bodily harm, has a weapon, you take him down. Get that weapon. If you're by yourself, don't go into the problem. If you're by yourself and you can get away, run. You're not a coward. You're getting away from the problem. Get reinforcements and come back in. This obviously, to me, nobody, no officer was in danger, in my opinion. And people have said on videos like this that I've done before, well, you're wrong and they're going to be cleared and... and no. Did Lake CI get cleared? Did Charlotte CI get cleared? No. They don't, folks. It's on videotape. Terrible, terrible uh, situation to be in. That That's powerful evidence, folks. These guys are gone. I'll tell you that right now. Please use common sense at work. Don't go to work to do this kind of stuff. Just do your job. You know, if that inmate was a problem, instead of slapping him, why didn't you just shut the cell door and lock him in and do what you had to do with the pen or get the team to come in and remove the inmate and place the inmate where he needs to be? No, no, no. There's too many things you obviously could have done better than what you did. Don't blame management. That's another one they tried to do. Don't blame management. Management didn't do that. Now, I agree 100% that the inmate should be charged with introduction to contraband as well. But I'm going to tell you something, folks. The state attorneys are using these videos. They're not saying, oh, this video was taken with an illegal smuggled phone. Well, you're on video now out in public media. It's too late, folks. They're going to use that video. But they still need to take action against the inmate. I do... Hope they do that, but in some cases that I've seen, they're going to use the inmate as a witness, and the inmate's going to get away scot-free and laugh later on, right? You've done nothing but take the image of the honest correctional officers and make us look bad. Please, folks, wake up. Wake up. Gary York, True Prison Stories. Please subscribe.